Behiksa. Welcome to our Big Commerce Tutorials. Today, we will learn how to add an item to a cart using Postman in Big Commerce API. Every business must manage its customers well. Every business operating an e-commerce website needs shopping carts and many items in the carts. Following this process, you can easily add items to the cart with all the information you want using Postman in Big Commerce. The process includes three steps. Step 1. Get a cart ID. Step 2. Access Postman. Step 3. Add an item to the cart. Now, take the first step. Get a cart ID. Before adding an item to your cart, you need to have a cart first. If you created the cart before, you need to get the cart ID. And below is the cart ID location you will need to use when requesting in Postman after you create a cart. If you have not created any cart, you need to create a new one first and then get the cart ID as I instructed above. To create a new cart, post number 7, Big Commerce API, how to create a cart. In the Big Commerce API tutorial series I have detailed in detail. Please watch and follow the instructions. Now, go to the second step, access to Postman. You have to log into your Postman account. Then, create a new workspace. In Postman there is a workspace named Big Commerce. You can select this workspace to use the template along with a few operations like replacing the store hash, access token, and access client. Using ready-made templates will save you time and make requests more accurate. Today we will add an item to cart so I choose the template for cart and option named add item to cart. The example will be shown and now we just replace information to request. Let's move on to the last step add an item to the cart. Create a new post with this URL. Replace with your store hash generated on Big Commerce from the API path. Replace with your cart ID you get when you create a cart in blog number 7, Big Commerce API, how to create a cart. One, in the header section, you need to declare the information. Accept, application JSON. Content type, application JSON. Exoth client, client ID. Exoth token, access token. If this is the first time you make a call in the Postman, you must generate API credentials from the Big Commerce admin account. You can read blog how to create a Big Commerce API account on the Behexa website. 2. In the body section. First, you need to click on the body section, then tick it raw to fill the data. Remember to change the text to JSON. Now, you need to declare the information below. Line item. Quantity. Product ID. I will show you the code structure below, and you can edit and add an item to your cart. Note, cart ID and product ID must exist on the store. To know more about the attributes to declare, follow Big Commerce Dev Center to learn more. After filling in all the information, click the send button to send the API request. Response, the API will return the data like this. The above are all steps to add an item to the cart on Big Commerce with Postman. Please comment below or refer to our Big Commerce API documentation if you have any questions. I hope you can achieve it. With the Big Commerce Tutorial series, we can help you save a lot of resources. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the following video about Big Commerce API.
If you have any suggestions or questions, let us know in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bahiksa. Connecting Application Automating Processes.